Hello guys and welcome to our next video tutorial about learning Python async IO with the using of OpenCV. Uh, now it's time to learn something new and it's running blocking code inside the event loop. As documentation suggests, uh, if you want to, uh, if you have some blocking CPU bound uh, the code, uh, it should not be called directly. Uh, for example, if a function performs a CPU intensive calculation for a second, all concurrent async IO tasks and IO operations would be delayed uh, by a second. So, this is a similar problem. So, we have a blocking code and it's delayed our uh, uh, grabbing and showing the frame to the user. Uh, what we have an option to fix this. So, an executor can be used to run a task in a different street or even a different process. For a different process we can use concurrent features process pool executor. For the a different OS thread uh, we can use this uh, concurrent features thread pool executor. So we read the documentation where we are quite excited and then just apply this knowledge immediately to our, uh, to our code. So what change we need to make in order to achieve some, <coughs> in order to use some external executor. Let's start. Uh, first of all, I need to, uh, oops, where is this? Yeah, uh, I need to add uh, this await async io uh, slip to, uh, uh, to our show frame, uh, the function. And the most of change is going to happen in the main pie. And let's go to the main pie. In the main pie, uh, we need to import these concurrent um, features. Import process pool executor. Nice. Uh, I'm going to change this uh, run fd uh, time function and uh, let's just eliminate this. Uh, right, eliminate this uh, running this face detection and add uh, store like only uh, task one, awaiting task one. And then uh, I'm going to create the new uh, async function for block uh, for running uh, blocking function. Our blocking function it will accept a loop, the event loop, a current running uh, running event loop, and the frame. So another, uh, the next step is calling this process pool executor as a pool and uh, call this blocking func with a func tools partial. So we need to import this func tools import partial partial right and uh, pass the run pass run phase detection uh, some function and the passing the frame uh, to this function. So this is a parameter of this run phase detection. And uh, we don't need this async uh, keyword here because uh, it, it must be an ordinary function, so not an async function. Um, right. Uh, so the next step is awaiting there's a loop uh, run in run in executor executor and pass a pool and this uh, blocking func to the um, executor itself and after all we are going to return from this uh, frame nice the next change is uh, hmm. Right, the next change is what we have. Let's just clean up. Uh, so we are awaiting from this um, run FD time and uh, applying the timestamp to this uh, to frame. And then we need to call this uh, run blocking func and pass the loop and frame. And how to get the loop uh, is as async io 
get running loop. Easy. And then uh, it, it will return the frame. We are going to pass the frame to the uh, show frame function as well. Uh, nothing change, nothing more change here. The, um, so we're not returning from uh, a run uh, face detection time uh, because we're uh, applying uh, the change to the frame copy. Uh, we can change also this run if the time function. Uh, and uh, not returning from, oops. Uh, so we can change, uh, make change here. So we don't need this uh, frame. We don't need this frame. And uh, so what we have also, uh, and also we are. We don't need re return. We just need the uh, waiting here. Async io sleep um, some amount of uh, yeah some amount of time. <coughs> so what we have left here, I don't think that yet. It it should be enough. So we have eliminated this async code. We add this process pull executor. We run in the loop executor. We return the from the frame. Uh, yes, that's it. And now it's time to uh, check. Yeah, it's time to test. And we learned that uh, blocking code must be run from the executor, and we did it. Let's see if if it, uh, affect our code in a positive manner. So let's see if we have uh, some results. So no. Uh, so as you see, I'm shaking my hand. Uh, as you see, there's still lag, and uh, yeah, and even you read the documentation and learn that uh, the blocking code must be run in external executor. It doesn't mean that it will work immediately. So, but we did it uh, correctly. So, uh, this is a our. Uh, a working code base, uh, and we are closer to uh, solve our uh, core problem. And, uh, and each video will show how we can achieve the uh, achieve our uh, our idea, uh, fixing the problem iteratively. So that's it for this video, and uh, yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Bye.